Hey, this is uh, Prometheus giving you guys more than the meta. I'm actually in an alternative playbook right now trying to build out a scheme. I had a uh, Patreon that requested me to take a look at this book and try to build some schemes. Uh, and he wanted me to focus on a lot of under center stuff. But I actually did notice um, a gun formation split slot, uh, which is a really, really good formation that I've had success with in the past. Uh, and is one of one of those formations where you run into an opponent that really leverages leverages it against you, and as a result, you you pick up some different tips. And this has a money play in here that seems to be just as effective as it has previously in the past. I'm going to show this to you. Uh, so um, it, it is the the uh, run heavy gun split. You could probably find a lot of these plays in some other playbooks out there. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at some of these uh, plays. So uh, our standard audibles are slants. We get the halfback sweep week week. We have deep curls, and then we have uh, basically the play action uh, wheel. Now, um, I, I looked at the deep curls. Uh, it's there's it's really not as effective as you want it to be. Um, I'm sure the people will go out there and actually say, hey, I've used this play, and it, it's very good. Uh, but my preference is to pull that out because I want to go ahead and use this particular play right here, which is a slant post angle. This is a play that you can spam. You can run this play 75% of the time you're passing just because it, it, it causes so many dilemmas uh, to lock up. It's very, very difficult to stop. So uh, we're going to use that as a, one of our, we're going to knock out deep curls. Play action wheel, it's got some really good concepts. It's got a you know, wheel route. You got yourself a, 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 an angled post and then a, 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 dra a drive concept going from, from the right to the left. Uh, but my preference, if it's, I'm going to actually have some type of a play action play, is to use the play action uh, a, a fullback slide uh, just because you, you can get um, a one play touchdown off of that. So uh, out of the huddle, we got our base audible is going to be this halfback sweep weak. Uh, so we want to try to run the ball off to the right. And um, typically you can use a, a shovel option or you can use the halfback gut. My preference is the halfback gut because the shovel option could get yourself in trouble by getting picked off if you, if you flip the ball to the inside uh, running back. Now I'm going to run this against random, uh, random nickel defenses. Uh, and just basically go from there, and then you have you have your your, your two-headed running attack. You can either go to either side, uh, and basically all you do is just follow your blockers with the run, and just look for the holes. And here's your your runoff tackle. The tackle kicked out and, and took the defensive end and put him off to the left. Same thing. You can see how that defender actually slid in. We're going to go ahead and take this. And I found that a lot of times you can take this to the outside too. So with the running backs for the, for the, the Buccaneers, this would be a really good scheme uh, to use uh, because you obviously have two good running backs that you can go and use in this, in this running scheme. But I don't really want to show that too much to you. I want to show you basically the passing plays. So we have slants. We have play action, we have the slot post angle, and then we have the full uh, the play action uh, uh, fullback slide. Let's go ahead and take a look at slants. Um, the way I like to run slants is the following. I like to go and take my outside receiver, Evans, and put him on a curl route that's going to give me a curl flat concept. And then I'm going to go ahead and streak up uh, Goodwin in a, in a streak just to clear out my, it's going to be a streak slant off, off the left-hand side. So uh, if I get man-to-man -man coverage, I'm going to go ahead and pop this curl. Uh, that's going to be my first read if I get man-to-man -man coverage. Um, so we're just going to go back to that again. Uh, conversely, I've got the slant streak off the back end side. So uh, really, I probably should have took the curl. That was that was a faster read. So usually you want to go, you want to make a better progression like that. So let's just go ahead and see if we can open this up. Okay, so here we go. So here's a slant on the back side uh, that you can hit. There was a there was a spy in the middle of uh, in the middle of the field, so you want to be con conscious of that. But that's why you have uh, basically that curl on the backside. You've also got the flat with the running back, and see Brady's showing he's flashing where the where the read is at. But I'll just kind of show you what I'm looking at when I'm making my progressions. I'm watching this guy right here, and I'm watching what happens if the defensive back actually flips his back to me. That typically means it's some type of man coverage. Uh, and I'm gonna watch this guy. See, he's coming into the passing lane. So if I throw that, he's gonna pick it off. So I'll just make my next progression to the flat. I'll throw it to the flat and just turn it up. And I'll pick up. I'll pick up my eight yards. That's all. It is just basically harassment. Now on the back side, I've got pretty much a similar type of concept. I've got this guy going to the flat. I can hit that. I've also got this guy clearing out the zones. And then I've got this this uh, this uh, slant uh, route on the back side that I can hit too. So. 
that's what I like about this gear play. We're gonna go ahead and set this up again. I'm gonna go ahead and do a curl route right there. Now here's another thing too, is that because of that action, you can hit the flat off to the right hand side uh, with Jones because it just jumbles up the defender. So just showing this to you in instant replay is that if you wanna go and hit the flat, uh, you've got this guy streaking. So if he pops him, you got this guy pulling him, he's gonna be out of position and then you can hit the flat. The ball is, I think is, is on, on its way out here. And right there, I can get in completion and pick up another seven yards. So this is gonna force your opponent to go ahead and defend the flats. The streak route is just a clear out route. I'm not looking to that route um, as a route that I'm actually trying to do. It's just clearing things out for me. I'm not going to go ahead and try to pop that at all. So just once again, right here, and here's your flat that you can pop it down there. Force your, depend your opponent to defend the flats. That, that, that opens up this entire scheme. So let's go ahead and take a look at the money play. This is the best play, um, and it's one simple adjustment. You're going to wheel up your outside, um, your outside running back, Jones. And we're going to make our progressions from right to left. You can do a progression from uh, uh, with uh, Fournette and Evans, but really I'm focusing on the three wide receiver side more than anything else. Now my first progression is going to be this outside out routes. This is going to be very very deadly. This is going to be this route is is, is something I ran into uh, a few years ago when I was playing online, and I had a hard time stopping it. Uh, because of the complement of these routes and, and, and how it clears out with that with a post and that wheel underneath it. So what happens is a lot of times people will actually go ahead and put a flat out there and that's where you actually can go in and hit this wheel this wheel route. So let's just go in and some replay to show you my progressions, my reads. I'm watching this guy right here and if he flips his back that means it's going to be a cloud zone. Uh, and he's going to be trying to play this sideline. So he's, so you can see he's biting and anticipating it. But because I made that read, I'm already, I've already thrown this ball underneath. And I'm going to pick up almost eight or nine yards with that. And that's not including what's going on the backside. I've got this route going right over the middle. And then I've got this little check route um, underneath too that I can hit against my opponent. Quick adjustment. Now here's what's cool about this figure to play is you've got this little underneath harassment route that he has to take in consideration. So if he starts going over to uh, to the, the three wide receiver side with this with this bigger play and trying to stop it, then you're gonna be able to hit him over the, uh, over the top. Now, here's another thing too. You got this deep post that if he starts doing Mabel, he does a Mabel coverage over there that you can hit. So this is just a beautiful play. It's just the setup of the design is just perfect. The, the, the spacing is perfect. Uh, it is just a wonderful play. And I, I've, I've used this and I've, I've been abused by this play before in the past. And it's just a simple one, one adjustment and snap the ball. So this is technically almost a quick snap play. And you can see right here, I still had the out. I still had this route right here that I can, I can hit. I had this route right here uh, with the with the run, with, with the running back I could have hit, but if, if he's if he's playing down all to this stuff right here, you got this crazy route that's just going over the middle of field, and you can get yourself a huge play because those defensive backs are actually have to play this deep comeback route. So any kind of Mabel coverage is essentially just going to blow this blow your opponent away with it. Now um, let's see if we get the one on one coverage. You do, you know, you can throw that. If he starts really, you know, putting a bunch of elaborate coverage off to the right side, you've got that deep comeback route in a single uh, type of situation. But uh, pretty much, you know, this play is just money. I had a hard time just stopping the out and the wheel. That was a hard time that I, that, that I had with this eager play, and that's why I threw it into this game. Now, here's the last play. This is just a bonus play. All I'm going to do, once again, is just streak up a good one. And we're going to just basically, if I can hit one of these these crossing flat routes, I'll do that. Uh, sometimes it'll be wide open, but I want to show you what happens. And here's your one play touchdown opportunity that you can hit a, hit a, across your opponent. Um, there's your, your big post opportunity. So you obviously want to have your fastest wide receiver out uh, on the right side. It's really all about hitting that deep post. And you can get yourself, you know, those one play touchdowns. So against cover two and all that kind of stuff, this is going to give you a nice play to hit over the middle of the field. So this is a this is a scheme that you can you can throw into. I don't know if you guys if you guys got uh, if you're playing 
uh, franchise and you can do custom books. You can find uh, these formations out of the run heavy uh, and the gun split slot. So if you are doing a custom book, you can throw this in. But if you are running uh, using the run heavy, uh, this is a great formation you can do. So, and, and I'll be breaking out some more plays uh, from my patrons uh, out of this formation. So once again, guys, thank you for your support. If you do like these type of breakdowns, Make sure you smash that subscribe button and also that notification icon because I'll be rolling out more, uh, you know, full schemes out of a formation so you guys can move the ball effectively up and down the field. So once again, thank you for your support, guys. Until next time.